yes. I must be good. Paladin Dance is waiting for you inside with group. Looking to clear another location. Paladin Dance. Trash? Cavalry's arrived. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. The Brotherhood isn't exactly subtle when it makes an entrance. There's no reason to be subtle when you have that in your arsenal. We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Gonna be a quick war with that thing on our side. That's the plan. If history's proven anything, it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that were both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Scribe Halen, Proctor Quinlan has just sent over his findings regarding artifact collection locations. Good. I spent months surveying the area. I was running low on sites to investigate. Perfect. Well, Quinlan seems to think that these new locations are a sure thing. All right. I'll make sure we send someone out to check on them as soon as possible. Can't talk right now. Gotta clean the Mirelurk sked off my...
far too long since I've been aboard. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request. Place the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Fridman and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. I think I've already proven that you're wrong. A Brotherhood soldier earns merit by respecting the ideals created by our Elder. Not by simply killing the enemy and following orders. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers, occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address, after which he wishes to speak with you. Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Hi. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the... Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Sin. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being this notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, 
If it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war. By starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Finally stop by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Sure. Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? I hope that you're kidding. Not at all. I'm quite serious, actually. However, I'll just assume that your answer to that one is a no. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? 
Well, there was this one really ugly girl in college. I mean, I had to get drunk, and it was a dare, and ugh. That hardly qualifies. So I'll just put no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Ah, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filmed. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Expecting. Got it. I don't care. I didn't join up to impress everyone. All right, Thanks, easy, Knight. I didn't mean anything by it. Our usual recruits tend to be wastelanders, and you don't look like one of them. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Actually, you seem to be getting around really well. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. your step on the flight deck. It's Dr. Long Teague. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. You must be in there for a reason. Maybe I'll keep my distance. I'm only having a bit of fun with you, Knight. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Teagan. The powers that be have me locked in here so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. 
The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. I could use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and... interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, gun, mod, even ammo, you just let me know. yourself with the Prickwood's crew. Are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Just point me to the action. I applaud your enthusiasm, Knight. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed.
a bit of trash to pick through here. Searching through it could prove beneficial. Master, I nothing. So I know.
Paladin Dance. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend, a brotherhood knight named Cutler. So when you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Makes sense. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. Too bad it wasn't the Institute. Not to worry, Knight. You'll be dealing with them sooner than you think. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Where do I start? I want you to get out there, and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility. The Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago, so it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Could those mysterious energy readings Paladin Dance's recon team detected be related to teleportation? The level of technology that the Institute possesses is far beyond our own, so we're not certain. However, that would explain why the readings are so random and short-lived. I'll have our scribes focus on improving our scanning techniques to learn more. Anything else you wanted to ask, Knight? Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. Treat your power armor well? You remind me of a young man I used to know. Never looking for trouble, but always finding it. Mama Murphy. Got that med -X? Fuel for the site? Yeah, here you go. Oh, it just makes 
everything feel good, don't it? I'm starting to see clearly. I see you, the mighty hunter. Only what you're hunting ain't an animal or a man. It's something different. Maybe something more than human. But what's this? I see a man in a white outfit standing over your prey and he says something it's, it's hard to make out but i'm trying kid he says z247 initialize factory reset authorization code zeta 53 kilo and then he falls and he's still I can't. I almost thought I couldn't breathe there. Uh, heart's beating like no tomorrow. Gonna need to rest. You ask me, freedom's always worth fighting for. Remember that settlement that was asking for help? All safe and sound again. Good. This is how we're gonna take uh -huh. I'll let you know if I hear of any stuff. In the meantime, make- Mm-hmm. Settlement has sent word. They somehow managed to drive off the super mutant ring. If they're worried, the super mutants will come back in force. You better get over there before it's too late.
Figured out that spot you sent me to, and set up a radio beacon there. That's a great move. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it.
Hi. Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Your money. All of it. Now. Yeah, yeah. I know the drill. This ain't my first mugging. Here. Now leave me alone. Carla. Ah, the robber. Hey, I paid up, so get lost. Got a dangerous look about you. Hope you ain't here for me. Hey there. Just the part I was looking for. The guys back at the garage are gonna flip. Nothing else to find here. The sunk of junk is picked clean, daddy -o. I wasn't looking. Oh, just admiring my plates? You seem like a cool cat. Our machines or something. Hey, we could really use your help. I'm with the Minutemen. How can I help? Something nasty's living just around the corner from here. It's only a matter of time before there's some real trouble. Now, what's really too bad is it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. In fact, I know some folks that'd love to set up there if it was safe. If you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. No problem. I'll take care of them for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do.
tell you. back. Any luck clearing out that trouble spot? I cleared that place out for you. Should be safe for your friends to move in now. It's nice to have some good news around here for a change. By the way, we've decided to support the Minutemen. We've got to help each other if we want things to get better. Just looking to trade a little. 